National Weather Service confirms it was an EF1 tornado packing winds of up to 110 miles an hour that touched down in Baldwin County last night. Most of the damage occurring in the city of Robertsdale. That's where we find WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams. And uh, Debbie, what a mess there. This was a small but really damaging twister. Yeah, they're saying that it's about $600,000 worth of damage done in just a few seconds last night. This is some of the debris here on Wilter Street. The folks we talked to this afternoon that are still cleaning up, they know it could have been a lot worse. Cleaning up after a storm is not uncommon for Brittany McMillan. I'm used to being on the side of it where we are helping people. Her day job's in the insurance industry. I don't like being on this side. <laughs> Now she's the one needing help after a tornado smashed her front door, damaged her roof, and shut down her downtown gym. The back part of the roof is peeled up, um, so it's detached. Um, as you've seen, a lot of it's caving in and, and seeping in. That's the majority of the damage is our roof. In the old Greer Shopping Center, one of the Twister's first targets, Central Baldwin Thrift Store. The aluminum roof that was put on after Hurricane Sally just peeled like a peeled back like a banana. That allowed the wind and the rain to do even more damage. During the storm last night, water was pouring through like a waterfall. This is just the bizarre nature of a tornado. You see all this destruction and then you look over here and these little knickknacks are all undisturbed. The wind tearing off parts of an old feed and seed store too, sending it smashing into other businesses. Most able to reopen while cleanup continues, but not at the fitness center. We're hoping to partially be able to reopen in a few days, but obviously safety is number one. Replacing what Mother Nature destroyed, the rebuilding and repairing part of any storm, now in full swing in Robertsdale. Now, the best news in all of this is that there were no reports of anybody getting hurt by this storm. The mayor here in Robertsdale saying this little town was lucky. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Robertsdale, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.